Uh, this is part four of the terribly funny life of Eamon, older brother of Jesus. It's, it's radio's oh. top soap. Uh. Eamon, older brother of Jesus. And so it came to pass that in the year 29 AD, Eamon's uncle Michael and Auntie Mary arrived in Nazareth to escape from the great asparagus famine which was sweeping across Ireland. Oh, isn't he a fine strapping big boy, Michael? Ah, that he is. <laughs> when you're fully grown, you'll be as big as a house. <laughs> yeah, well, I am 40 years old. I think maybe I've already grown to my full height. Eamon, where's your manners? Away into the kitchen with you and make your uncle and auntie a nice cup of tea. Hasn't Eamon got a great look of his grandfather? Mm. It's the eyes. He's got his grandfather's eyes. Indeed I have. And I've no intention of giving them back to the blind old buffoon either. Of course, Jesus gets his looks from my side of the family. Some say if he grew his hair long enough, we'd look like sisters. Is that so? Oh, I can't wait to meet Jesus. Hasn't he done very well for himself? Not even 30 years old yet, and already a messiah. Yes, we're all very proud of him. He left on one of his tours this morning. It could be months before he's back. Tea up. Ah, there's nothing like a cup of tea to warm the cockles of the heart. Eamon, I've been thinking that since Jesus is away, couldn't Auntie Mary and Uncle Michael sleep in your room? You could make up a little bed for yourself in the carpentry shop. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that, Mother. I, mean, it's a bit I can't be... think where in the name of God Joseph has got to. I can't wait to see his face when he sees the two of you. He's out training his cows at the moment. Training them? To do what? Well, to race, apparently. As I live and breathe, it's the man himself. You haven't changed a bit in 41 years. I'm very sorry. I can't quite place you. It's, it's me, your brother, Michael. Michael? Were you younger or older than me? Are you having me on or what? Younger, of course. You don't have an older brother. I bet you don't remember your sister-in-law either. Is it Mary? Well, you couldn't really go wrong there. Every woman in the village was called Mary, bar none. That's a fact. There was Mary the dressmaker. Mary the midwife. Mary the matchmaker. Uh, Maudlin Mary the mandolin player. Mad Mary the table support. Isn't it time you were back in the carpentry shop, Eamon? No, no, it's my lunchtime now, Mother. Mind you, that reminds me. I have arranged to meet some friends. No, I'm sure the two of you don't want to be sitting around here all day in your first day in Nazareth. It'll be nice to see some of the town, all right. Get a bit of shopping in. You know what they say? If you come to Nazareth, you must shop in Herod's. Right you be. Are we ready, so? Oh, count me in. I think I'll stay here and have a little rest, if that's okay. My legs are a bit rubbery, trying to train those cows to chase me. <laughs> Following a short lunch with his so-called friends, Eamon returned home alone to the house. Look, I'm down to having Uncle Michael and Auntie Mary sleeping in my room. I mean, I might have to spend the rest of my life sleeping in the carpentry shop for all I know. Oh, I can't say I blame you, son. To be honest, I could never stand either of them. Terrible pair of gobshites. Anyway, I don't think they want to sleep in my room after tonight. I've just paid a little visit to Leon and Lenny, the Leper Brothers. They'll be paying them a little visit in the early hours of the morning. However, unknown to Eamon, Jesus heals the two lepers later that afternoon as a grand opening to his tour and their presence in the bedroom that night had little effect on his uncle and aunt. Next morning, at the breakfast table... Well, I had the strangest dream last night. I dreamt that these two men broke into our bedroom. God save us. A lovely couple of lads. Brothers, I think they said. They said Jesus had recently healed them of some terrible disease. Oh, that's Jesus for you. Always trying to help other people. Oh, you must be very proud, Eamon. Having a brother like that. Mm. Yeah, as a peacock. And so it came to pass that Eamon spent the next three weeks sleeping on a workbench. bench. <laughs>